Hey YouTube, this is College Toot, just doing a tutorial about what every single um, tool does in this side panel right here. Just in case you have any questions or if you have Photoshop and you're thinking about getting it, just what every single tool does so you can see what, see what you can do. Alright, and just before we get started, I just want to say if you could go and check out my blog at scourgeclothing.blogspot.com. Cool, so the first tool, a hotkey V, is the move tool. And so basically the move tool will just move the layer that you have, just, just like that. Second is the, <coughs> is the marquee tool. And there's the rectangular marquee tool and elliptical marquee tool. Basically, it's just a way to select stuff. And you can select circles, or you can select these ellipses and the rectangles and stuff. So it's just an easy way to select stuff. Next is the freeform lasso, lasso, uh, lasso tool. And so pretty much you can just come around and select whatever you want, wherever you want. And next is the quick selection tool. And so it'll select what you think, it, what it thinks you want you, to, what it thinks it wants you to select, or what it thinks you want to select. So you see, I'm selecting all this green right here and it's pretty good, except it's pretty crisp down here, but up in his hair, I started selecting some of his hair, which I don't want, so you can click Alt and just come around and go over his hair and subtract that selection. Next is the crop tool, and the crop will just uh, cut the image to the size that you want, and so just right around there, then you can click OK, and it'll just crop it just like that. Next thing is the slice tool, and the slice tool is used in uh, web, web features, and you just make a big square, and then it makes you one, two, three, four, five. It makes uh, five different images. So it kind of splits them up, and you can uh, you can divide you can divide them. You can make even more images. It's just for uh, messing around messing around a little bit. Not too not too much up. Not too much used in photo editing. And then we can just get rid of that. And then next thing we're gonna go to is the uh, spot healing brush tool. So the spot healing brush tool is kind of just like. Uh, you click and it's takes some it takes some blemishes and uh, imperfections away, and then next is the healing brush tool, and it t you you have to sample this area and then you go over another area and it'll um, make it how you want it. See, it just takes it just takes some lines away, and let's just say like right here, take these freckles away. Yeah, you know it works out, and so it takes the imperfections away. One more last demonstration, like right here, just took those guys away, perfect, and it just it makes them blends them in really really well. Next thing is the healing, uh, the red eye tool, and for the red eye tool, um, let's see here. Let's open this other one. Desktop, search, YouTube. Like right here. So for the red eye tool, it pretty much does exactly what you think it does. So you come up on this girl's red eyes, and then you just click, and then it takes the red eye away. You just click right in the center of the eye and you can see it, the red eye is completely gone. So that's just that demonstration. Next one is the brush tool. The brush tool is pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, you know, it's what you brush with. And you can do a bunch of different brush effects, brush sizes, brush shapes, and just brush everything. Used a lot in almost every single Photoshop thing. Then there's a pencil tool, and it's kind of just like a single pixel brush, just to mess around with, not, not, not too much. Next is the clone stamp tool. And so the clone stamp will literally do what it says. If you click Alt, you pick a spot where it samples from. So you click right there, and then you draw where you, or go over where you want to brush, and it'll literally draw, you know, what you're sampling at. And so you can see the cursor on, to the left of the brush, just going. And so you see it just made a whole other eye just right there. Next is the pattern stamp tool. So it's acting as if there's a pattern behind, and that this is just it, it's it, if you want to go over the pattern, but you know we don't want to right now. Next is the history brush tool, and so let's say that I came in here with my brush tool, and I just went over this area right here, over here in my history. Let's see if we can bring this down a little bit. Over here in my history, um, there's a spot back here where it's completely blank. But if I come back up to my brush tool and I click this little icon next to it, and I take my history brush and I just paint over, it'll go. It'll paint and it'll act as if I'm trying to paint to that other spot where I just showed you where the back was. So that's pretty much that right there. And so it'll it'll paint, and the image that it'll reveal is the image that you selected right here. That's good. And then the art history brush is kind of like a brush where it lets you act as if you're painting. And so as you can see right here, it's just painting a whole, painting kind of a picture for me. And so it's just going over. You know, just messing around out here, so you could, you know, act as if you're painting a little bit more. And so the kid's face is starting to turn into a little weird, but it's alright. And then the eraser tool, 
does pretty much exactly what you think it does. It erases. Uh, well, I have this. Let's go to this layer right here. It pretty much erases. It just does exactly what you want, and it'll reveal the background. Next is the paint bucket tool, and the paint. Oh, there's then there's the quick erase or the background eraser tool, and that'll literally er erase the background, and so and it'll get you to where. Yeah. So pretty much literally erases the background. Next is the magic eraser tool. It'll erase a whole color for you. I need to get rid of one of these. It'll erase a whole color for you. So you see right there, I select this green. It'll select the green just like right there. Cool. And then next is the paint bucket or the gradient tool. So the gradient tool is kind of like an exchange of colors or more of like an exchange of effects. And so you can come up here and just uh, select a select a gradient and then you click and then hold and then drag and it'll just do a gradient right over it and the place where you start your click is where the first color starts to be, begin to change and the place where you end your click is where the last color be, or the second color begins to or ends or no it becomes the be, becomes full of itself and so you can see right there that the white the white is fully white right there and the shorter the, your little track the shorter the gradient the longer long, the more gradual it is next is the blur tool come up here to his eyes and the blur tool literally just like blurs it and so it's good for effects and then the sharpen tool the sharpen tool pretty much sharpens stuff up but then if you get a little too crazy you get this effect which you don't really want and so sharp you gotta use it use it in moderation next is the smudge tool and the smudge tool just drags stuff around however you want it after that is the dodge tool which will lighten stuff up just like that and then the burn tool which will make stuff darker it doesn't it just yeah it just makes it darker and then the sponge tool and the sponge tool up here you can see we'll make a copy of this one so I can show you but this will desaturate right now as you can see right here it was blue now it's not blue so that's that's the desaturation and then that's it for right there oh and then the pen tool this one's used a lot in Illustrator but usually a lot for paths and you can just select and make uh, some custom curves and so you can see the curves right there and then close off the path and then there you go so now you have this path I mean and then there's the free uh, form pen tool which is uh, making the curves without using those uh, anchor points and then there's the anchor points tool and just adds anchor points you know what those are if you want to use them pretty much and then you can select that and then the convert anchor point tool it's kind of cool you can hold on to an edge and then just drag the edge wherever you want and it'll adjust the anchor points for you and then we'll just get rid of these paths. Cool. And then next is the type tool. And then pretty much just, you know, basic type, just right there. And then there's the there's the vertical type tool, which will put uh, type up and down. You just see a type up and down just like that. And you can uh, make the font smaller by up here. And then there's the path selection tool and the direct, uh, those work with the paths. Those are pretty easy. One selects the whole path, one selects just the anchor points. And then there's the custom, and then there's all the shape tools. And so the shapes will just pretty much make shapes, and you can choose whether you want them to be actual shapes, or have them be filled, or have them just be paths. And then there's the notes tool, which is you can just take notes and then forget about them later, and take a couple notes. And then there's the eyedropper tool, which will sample the color for your foreground color, which will sample it, and it'll just, so you can, you can pick the exact color that you want. And then there's the grab tool, which will pretty much just grab, you know, what you want. It'll pretty much grab your view, so it won't grab, um, it won't grab the layer, but it'll grab your view. And that you can hold the uh, hotkey is the shift, and you can just grab it however you want. And the magnifying tool, you can double click, or you can pull out by holding Alt and your scroll key. You know, so that's that's pretty much every tool right here. And I hope it worked out for you. If you have any questions, just uh, you know, message me. I'd be happy to help with anything. And those are all the tools for um, those are all the tools for Photoshop. Just you got to learn how to use them, and then learn to filter effects, blending modes, colors, everything. It's a big world. Go have fun. All right, later.